Filters within synthesizers, as effects plugins, or even within EQ plugins are typically designed to allow some elements of the audio frequency spectrum to be heard, and others to disappear, or to be reduced in volume. There are countless types of filters, such as low-pass, which allows frequencies to be heard below the cutoff point, which sounds like this. This is what filters and EQ sounds like. This is what filters and EQ sounds like. High-pass filters, which conversely allow frequencies to be heard above the cutoff point. This is what filters and EQ sounds like. This is what filters and EQ sounds like. This is what filters and EQ sounds like. As well as a myriad of other kinds like bandpass, all-pass, notch, and so on and so forth. Different filters can be used to dramatically sculpt sound, often in conjunction with other types of effects. These days, there are hundreds of them to choose from in both the analog and digital audio world, but in this chapter, we'll focus on Ableton's Auto Filter, Sugarbyte's WoW 2, and FabFilter's Volcano 2. Equalization, or EQ, is the process used to boost or lower frequencies during mixdown. But did you also know that you can use EQ as a powerful tool for sound design? In this chapter, I'll be showing you some methods you can use to sculpt your sounds using simple EQ tricks, along with some automation. You'll be surprised that you've gone this long without knowing them. Well, let's get to work.